packet series, setting up airmail and Winlink parameters. I have both of them on the screen. I'm going to open the packet Winlink session or the peer-to-peer. -peer. You set one, the other one sets automatically. So we're looking for initialization OK, but we've got an initialization failed. So we know it's wrong. We don't know what it is. So first thing we should do is run device manager. And under device manager, we look for the COM port. So we see that it's COM port 5. OK, so we know it's COM port 5. So we're going to switch from Winlink and we're going to go over to Airmail. I'm going to go here and go to Options and Connection. Even though this is for HF, this is what will show up in Dumb Terminal. So the closest we can get to a KPC3 is a CAM Plus. Talks the same command set. So we'll look here. We only have COM5. As Device Manager said, it tells us that it's a USB serial port, an FTDI. And let's set it to 9600, our default, if you will. And we'll just click OK. Now, if I go into Dumb Terminal, it automatically pulled that information, COM5 9600. COM5 is correct because we have two green lights, the CTS and DSR. If I click inside the box and hit enter, if I get command and a colon, then we know that it's set correctly. So I'm going to close Dumb Terminal. I'm going to go back up into Tools, Options, and I'm going over to Modules. I want to make sure nothing is ticked except Packet Client. Weather fax is grayed out, so we don't have to worry. We're going to go to Setup. We're going to go to the KPC3. It's the only one we can choose. COM port 5, 9600. And click OK. And OK. To confirm that, we push this icon right here, which is a world with a three element Yagi antenna. If I click that, we'll wait a second and we should see packet initialized OK. That tells us everything is set up as far as COM port and baud rate. So we can close that. Now we go do the setup in Winlink Express. You can either pick the packet Winlink or peer to peer and open the session. You have to wait for it to time out. So it's going out and trying those parameters, COM5 and, uh, and uh, 1200, which is incorrect. We go up to settings. It's a Cantronics, it's a KPC3. It's on COM port 5, but the serial uh, port baud rate is wrong. We're going to go to 9600. Now we're going to go update. Once it is found at TNC, an initialization is complete. We know we're ready to use this. The only thing that we need to confirm and make sure is whether your TNC output isn't driving the deviation up too high. In my TNC and radio combination, I'm using an FTM 400, the setting is 267. Yours could range anywhere from 30 to 300. So we're going to go check that and we go back into settings. We go down here and you see mine is 267, but it's grayed out. I can untick it. I can then change it to what, I, what your TNC is. In my case, it's 267. And I just tick that so it's grayed out so it doesn't accidentally get uh, changed. Click Update. Wait for the initialization. It says it's complete. It's now set up. So that's the end of this um, setting up Airmail and Winlink 